Today we are back in the hardest mode in Space Flight Simulator, realistic mode. In normal mode, all the planets and moons in the game are only 1 20th the size of their real life counterparts. But in realistic mode, everything is scaled up to be true scale to real life. This makes every single mission we do significantly harder, and you're definitely gonna see some of that today with the absurd rocket we end up building. The mission today is to create a replica of the Curiosity rover and land it safely on Mars. Let's see how this goes. I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's get started building our rover. Uh, so once again, we are going for the Curiosity rover. Let's pull up like a picture. This is what we're trying to make. We'll put this in the corner. Here is the pod. We're gonna want six wheels, right? I want to rotate it. Yeah, see, we can rotate it with BP editing to get like the wheels rotated. Uh, uh, but you're right. It's not, it's not vanilla. So how do we feel about this? I mean, we can part clip because that's not, that's in vanilla, you know, to like get our base here. I'm uh, pretty sure we don't need any fuel in here. Okay, it has like, see, like it has like that tilted section in the back. I would do something like this. Let's make this probe the little the little this thing up here, you know, the the this thing, this thing. So we probably just want it like skinny, right? And then this is the visor. And so we need like a little structural part connecting up to it. Yeah. OK, see, see, I think the wheels. So I'm just going to copy these and then rotate them. This isn't going to be full detail. Like I'm sure other people will come up with better ones. But the basics of what we need are already here. Um, we could try to add that little arm just, you know, for fun, like something like this, like this. And then something goes on top. What should we put on top? What looks like a little a little arm extractor, you know, this, but then make it smaller, make these skinnier. Hey, hey, check that out. Add a solar panel for the NASA logo. OK, OK, I got you. You mean one of these and then extended and then make it a lot smaller. I want to be able to see it. OK, how do we feel about this design? <laughs> I mean, if you look at the reference, like you can tell that it's supposed to be that. Let's see if it works, though. OK, the wheels are not attached. Uh, OK, they should be attached now. <laughs> yes, maybe we need the side wheels a little longer so they're touching the ground or we could move the this middle wheel up one and make it one taller. OK, that looks like it'll probably work. Hey, hey, that's a Mars rover if I've ever seen one, right? OK, what is we need? What is our plan for getting it to the Mars surface? I've so, got a plan for rover landing part. Put a 12 wide heat shield on top, then put a fuel tank below with two engines and the rover attached below. Flip it around after you pass the atmosphere and turn on engines to slow down. Get to parachute velocity and land. Put a 12 wide heat shield on top, then put a fuel tank below with two engines and the rover attached below. Flip it around after you pass the atmosphere and turn on engines to slow down. Get to parachute velocity and land. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. We are going to want heat shields and parachutes to get this there. Uh, a 12 wide heat shield on top like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Docking port chip. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Docking port's better. OK, how are we feeling about this? Yes. Can we just use this one maybe? OK, fairing. Don't use fairings. They're unpredictable. They break the rover. I think you're right. Fairings are kind of like they look the best, but I think you're right because we can just launch this, you know, um, maybe put some like aerodynamics on top. But like, I feel like that clipping is bad. You know, what about a 10 wide? No, I don't want it to clip all the way into the heat shield. OK, here, let's do like two eight wide heat shields then. Yeah, that looks more like more coverage. Um, what we could do is move the wheels in. No, because I like the way the wheels move when, look when they're sticking out. Uh, simple solution here. Just throw on some structural parts here and put docking ports on them or maybe not. Like I'm thinking we do something like this. So then we put engines here. What kind of engine is going to be the best for s this is slowing down. So the plan, I think, is enter the atmosphere with the um, with these going in first and then after they stop burning, rotate around and slow down. OK, let's do a quick little test here to make sure all of this pops off. Right. Here's a little launch test. OK, it is definitely rotating. Ooh, parachutes. It kind of works. See, it's definitely way heavier on this side. So we probably want to make it symmetrical. What if we just put some fuel in this, though? 
Let's see how that affects it. No way. Um, okay, I just solved it. <laughs> uh, I think we need a little more. It's hard to turn left, but that's definitely helping. So enter the atmosphere like this, and then we're gonna rotate around, slow down, and then we will break off there. Hopefully we don't all die when this happens. And then parachutes. And then right before we get to the ground, I think, we pop the parachutes off, put a little more fuel in here, and we'll do one more test launch. And then I think we're ready to build the rest of the rocket and go. I want it to be very maneuverable. Okay, left is good. I think we're cooking. We got a design here. That ain't curiosity, that's confusion, dude. <laughs> so if this is our rover, now the question is, what kind of big nose cone should we put on without ruining our heat shields? Okay, I think that works. Do we want a fairing all the way down to here like this? And then we want it to lock on, right? So when we launch, it's gonna look like this. And then in space, we can break this fairing off. This is to help with the launch aerodynamics. Okay, now comes the probably the hardest part, which is building a rocket that is capable of getting to Mars in realistic mode. So this is 10 wide here, right? Okay, so this is the slowdown stage. So we need a transfer stage here so this transfer stage just go for it it's not this is not even gonna be close to making it this is just the stage that gets us from earth to mars we still need the vast majority of our fuel is gonna be used getting into earth orbit let's throw some rcs on here just to be safe test the launch this isn't even our launch stage though okay so this is the stage that takes us from earth to mars test if you can even get out of earth atmosphere i don't think so realistic mode they're huge. This is 5x speed. I guess if it can, we can test the entry. See how that works? Okay, this is actually working pretty well. So yeah, the side ones run out first, but that was pretty much expected. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Okay, we're testing out the re-entry. So we need to break this off and the fairing off. When we're entering Mars atmosphere, we're going to enter with our heat shields facing towards it like this. Okay, we're burning now. Oh, uh, okay, well look, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, now slow us down, slow us down. Okay, but that worked, that worked. Now, the question is, will this make it from Earth orbit to Mars orbit, or do we need more boosters? It won't, more. Okay, so what we could do is add double on this, like so. Okay, you guys say more, so I think maybe what, one more? Now the problem is gonna be we have to get this massive thing into orbit. That's gotta make it, right? Okay, running a poll. How many boosters on each side? This is three right now. I think two would probably work the best. I will go off whatever the poll says. <laughs> All right, y'all want four. Um, okay, we're gonna try it. <laughs> Dude. Okay, what color should we make them? We gotta make them a cool color, right? United. Because <laughs> they're all united with each other. The mission now is get this thing to space. Oh wait, this is our transfer stage. So, <laughs> we need an orbital stage too? <laughs> so, this next stage we're about to build, its only goal is to get us in orbit. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is actually crazy. All right, so we got our launch stage, orbital stage. Okay, so now we need a launch stage, which is gonna be our biggest stage. Yeah, yeah, look, pyramid, pyramid. Okay, and then stack as many of these as we can. Is this even gonna launch? What do we think? <laughs> aerodynamic. <laughs> it is super aerodynamic now. <laughs> the rocket building. Okay, now what color on all of these? Check it, let's stage it. While we stage it, do you guys think it will take off? Will it even take off? And I'm going to stage our first stage. Second stage will be break off here and activate all of those. Stage three will break off here, activate these and these and these. Stage four will be break off here. Stage five will be break off here, activate these. All right, 91% think this will take off. If it takes off, we'll do another prediction on if we can make it to orbit. All right, let's see. Let's see, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh, that's full throttle. Oh no, RCS help. It's not taking off. 5X speed, is it really? Is it taking off or is it not? It's not. Oh, oh it is, it is. All right, all right, we'll keep it running then. New prediction. 
make it to orbit? Yes or no? This is going to be an issue. Our launch stage is already done. And this is our orbital stage. This is not going to make us to orbit. We might need another launch stage. It's possible to get to orbit, I think. But there's not going to be enough left to go to Mars also. Yeah, because see, that was the... This is our transfer stage now. We'll still push it to orbit and just see. This is bad. I don't even think we make it to orbit. Oh, no, because we're just on this stage now. And that is not enough thrust. I'm going to try to push it. Break these off to shed the weight. This ain't making it to Mars. It is look. It does look like it's probably gonna make it to orbit. Yep. Okay. Not making it to Mars. Not even close. We need to be in orbit before we activate this stage. As long as that happens, we should be set. Yeah, big giant boosters on the side to carry it. The thing is, we're gonna need so many. You'll need a lot of carrier boosters. Yeah, we will. There you go. <laughs> uh. The thing is, I don't think this takes off. I want to make it so just these is what takes off. Just double it, right? That's the logical answer here. <sighs> this rocket has seen some things. I've seen some things building this rocket, dude. Okay, does it take off immediately? Like within five seconds. Um, so we're not waiting for all the fuel to drain again. Okay. And also I'm only using the side boosters. I'm not using the central engine. Just these. Will it take off with just those? Okay, it's pretty split actually. Let's um let's run it back. Let's see. Here's our rocket on the launch pad. Bigger than the launch pad. I'm mildly scared. Here we go. Three, two, just these engines. One, go. Yes, yes, it's taking off. It's taking off. <gasps> okay, okay, we're cooking. <laughs> Alright, we'll go 5x speed here. Okay, wait, pause, new prediction. Yes, it takes off. Make it to orbit without using the transfer stage. And if we can do that, this might make it all the way to Mars. Okay, hold on, this might actually work. Oh, no way, dude, no way. This is gonna work, it's gonna work. Into space, now turn sideways to get into orbit. Accelerate faster. This is the stage that we had trouble launching, so the thrust is kind of bad when it starts, but it should pick up as the fuel drains. The next few stages have a lot better thrust. Ooh, okay. We gotta make it to orbit in this next stage here. We have to make it to orbit right here. Faster! Come on, make it to orbit, make it to orbit. Come on. Oh no, I don't think we are. We're not going to. No, no, make it anyway. The mission was a fail. No! And the thing, the fairing broke it! All right. Okay, that was a fail. We're getting close. We are so close. The problem, I think, is we have very low thrust in this stage. We're gonna fix it. So, we have to decrease weight or increase power on this stage here. So our options are get rid of fuel tanks, add more engines, which I don't know how we really could. Get rid of a row. Let's try that. Get rid of one row and then move all these up. Here's what we're gonna do. Here, just delete this and then we can delete this whole side and delete this for now so we can move this out of the way because we're gonna copy it back and then add another booster set like this. This is, this will work. This will work, I believe. Give me this. Symmetry is on, so if I just go like this and throw this on the side. So stage one, all of these. Uh, stay <laughs> stage two is break these off. Stage three is all of these. And then the rest of the staging should be unchanged. Okay, it's ready. Make it to orbit without using transfer stage is our prediction. This is a rocket. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I believe, I believe, to space. Yes! Break those off, yep. Now we activate the stage, burn sideways. Okay, we need to be going like a lot faster, like four, like 5,000 or 6,000 or something. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a lot better thrust in this stage. Go, next stage. Uh, come on, this stage has to make it to orbit or we're not making it. We're going past the AP, we need to go up. We wanna keep this line, in, this dot in front of us. Oh, you need to be going so fast, dude. 
No! I'm making it with this stage. I don't even care. The prediction was a fail. We're so close. But there's no way this makes it to Mars also. Dude, realistic mode is so hard. Okay, what's our speed we need to be? Almost 8,000. Just try to go to Mars. Let's see how the transfer would go. Just so we know how much more we need to accelerate. Another 3,600, dude. This ain't ever happening. Let's see how far we can get with this rocket so we know what we need to, how much more we need. It's not even gonna complete the transfer and we still need fuel to slow down to get into orbit of Mars and to enter the atmosphere. We didn't make it to orbit without using the transfer stage. We were so close. You just directly re-enter Mars' atmosphere. If we can hit it, I mean, actually maybe because we have this stage that's more efficient. Okay, what we need to do, wait for it to rotate. We only need 200 more. And then if you start time warping and then stop, it'll stop your rotation. Break these off. Just use this stage now. What if we make it? What if we make it? Hold on, hold on. We're actually kind of cooking. No way, no way. How are you gonna make it back? It's a rover, it doesn't need to come back. Okay, we're on our way to Mars now. Okay, so we want to aero break. We need to be hitting the atmosphere. Ideally, we want to slow down though. Let's go with that. Time warp to Mars. Will the rover land safely? Plan here, hit the atmosphere, but right about here maybe, we just want to burn the rest of our fuel off anyway, I think. Okay, slow us down. Oh, no way, we're gonna make it to orbit. Okay, we can actually just go for orbit then, because this isn't hitting the atmosphere anymore. Yeah, let's go for orbit, and then we'll aero break on the entry. Bro, he cooked? Yeah, this is actually crazy. I did not think, this is like a test to see if we could, what we needed to change, but this might actually work. This is gonna work. There's low Mars orbit. Okay, so we want to enter with this towards us. I'm gonna RCS to get out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna enter the atmosphere right about here. Heat shield aim towards the atmosphere. Let's see, let's see. We've got RCS to help us. So the plan right now, slow down with the heat shields. Once we've slowed down decently, turn around and use these to slow down. Then activate our parachutes and float down gently. Yes, yes, this is what we want. Uh-oh, we're getting close. No, 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 no. Retrograde. Okay, wait, we did it, we did it. Break off, parachutes. Okay, wait, hold, give it a second. Get out of this thing, parachutes. Parachutes, open, open! Okay, oh, wait, 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 no way, no way. I think we'll be okay. Oh, that's quick. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Yes, yes! And there we are, on Mars. Let's go, let's go, that's crazy. I did not expect that time to work. Wow, okay, that was a rough mission. I'm not gonna lie, building that rocket was kind of hard, but we're here now. If you're watching on YouTube, the link to the blueprint will be in the description. Good luck running it on mobile. Probably will break your phone. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, 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 I hope you enjoyed. I, I actually really enjoyed that mission.